Good morning, everybody. I guess I'm on a bit of a tutorial kick. I just had a request this morning, I think, actually, uh, from a subscriber who wanted to see a wet and wild look with one of the holiday palettes. And I only picked up one. The other, uh, I got, what did I get? Night Elf? I think this is Night Elf. Yeah, I got this one. And um, I picked this one up because to me it had the most unique colors uh, I could do without the red, to be honest. But the other ones, I can't remember the names of them, but they were all very similar to colors I already had. I thought they were very similar to the Vanity palette and the other one that has the um, purples in it. I can't remember which one that is. So um, I went with this. And I've just dropped the kids off from school, or at school, so it's uh, just after 8 in the morning. And I did my foundation. I went back to just straight Estee Lauder double wear, by the way. I'm, mixing is too much of a pain, and if Estee Lauder works, why mess with it, right? So, um, yeah, so I've got concealer, foundation, powder, blush, bronzer, and I did my MAC Paint Pot as well. And um, I've got my crew, my live studio audience, Bosley's in the chair, recovering after eating an entire bag of dark chocolate truffles two days ago. And he's fine because he's indestructible. Anyway, and I have the Westies here. And I just wanted to show you before I get started my really cute outfit that I wore to take the kids to school. And the point is showing you um, I am a normal person. And like I said, sure, I can look good when I film because I choose when I want to film. If you had cameras following you all around all day, then, or if I did, then obviously you'd see what I look like all the time. But this is what I look like in the morning. Let's see. Dogs, please move. So my really cute, don't you love these? My cute uh, fleece, old navy pajama bottoms that yes, I slept in. And uh, a big oversized sweatshirt, which is really cozy. And when it's super cold, like in the house, because I hate to turn the heat on, yeah, I've even slept with this on. Hi, memes. So, anyway, I didn't sleep in this, but it's a little chilly in the morning. And, uh, yeah. So, that's what I look like when I dropped the kids off this morning with big sunglasses on. And, um, now I'm going to try and make myself look presentable. So, here we go. Um, so I did the paint pot, and I'm going to try something different Actually, hang on. I forgot to bring one little thing I need. I'll be right back. <laughs> and there's going to be a dog. Sorry about that. Um, anyway, the whole point of when I started making these videos was I felt like I had gathered a lot of information from different sources, and I felt like I wanted to share what I learned with all of you. I, I don't have any training, but I watch a lot of these videos, too, and we all don't watch the same ones, so if I pick up something from a site that maybe you don't watch, then I can pass it along to you. Or we might both watch it, but I actually tried it, and you haven't tried it yet, so then you could see how it works when a normal person and not a um, makeup artist tries it. So anyway, I was watching Lisa Eldridge, her brow routine, and we have some differences of opinion um, on how to care for them, but what I really got out of it was how she fills in her brows. And so I have a mirror here. I, I don't have a video screen. Like, I can't see what I'm doing when I look at the camera, so I, I need a mirror. Anyway, so what she did was she brushes her brows down, which is so attractive. But anyway, that's really the area that needs the most filling in. Try to, anyway, so after you brush them down, I'm just taking an old, it's clean, it doesn't look clean, but an old wand from um, a clear mascara that I used on my eyebrows. And so I'm brushing them down. And obviously you would do this when you have a little more time on your hands. And then I have, this is an old, not old, this is a double-sided Smashbox brush, and this is the angled side, and it's very stiff. You don't want fluffy when you do this, or you're going to have eyeshadow all over the place. I'm using this quad, this is the Sonia Kasha quad, and I like that color to fill in my brows. Um, this isn't something I do every day, it's more... I do it when I remember. So anyway, starting at the top, let me scooch in, um, tilt your head down a little bit, and I just fill in along the top, really. And uh, along the edge. Okay, guys. Hey, Rook. Uh -uh. And... 
other side. And this can go pretty quickly. I mean, I guess it depends. This brow is a little thinner. And I have to say, if you're, con if you're nervous about doing your brows, powders, eyeshadow powder is a good way to start. It's a lot more forgiving and easier to do than um, a brow pencil. Uh, and less harsh. So anyway, once you do that, then you would just comb up. And that's it. So that's just a little trick she showed me and, well not me personally, but you know, that she did in her video and I found it really helpful. It kind of just made things go easy. So, okay, on to color. So I'm using the Night Wet n Wild, um, I believe this is the Night Elf, I'm almost 100% positive, I must have peeled the sticker off. Um, I'm sorry if you can't find them anymore, but what I really like about this particular palette are these two colors on the bottom. I have never used this. I haven't used this yet and I mean to. It's a really pretty silver. I just haven't had um, the opportunity to, to use it. And I rarely use this. Again, that's more for party looks and I haven't had occasion to go to a party yet. Bosley! No! Lay down. You've already been outside. A family of squirrels has moved into our backyard in the last week, and all they want to do is go outside and eat the squirrels. Okay, so on my lid, I'm just going to grab any flat brush. I don't even know. This is like a drugstore brand. It's nothing special. And I'm going to take this um, middle shade, which is sort of like a, it's a khaki, a shimmery khaki color. I will say the other reason that I didn't um, get the other palettes, other than the fact that they have similar colors is that uh, they were all shimmers and I I mean I like my shimmers don't get me wrong but I like matte more matte or satin more so I'm gonna zoom in a little Ooh. okay and uh, so I'm just patting I'm just patting this on pretty thick and I'm not going all the way into the inner corner. I'm leaving a little of that inner corner open because I will be putting a highlight color in there. Bosley, you are not going outside, so stop scratching on that door. It's not happening for you, buddy. So, and I go a little bit up into the crease because it helps blend that crease color and um, I have kind of hooded eyes so if I only did it on my lid I mean look when my eyes are open you just see this little ribbon of color so this way it peeks out a little bit and then I'm just wiping this off on a paper towel and then I'm gonna go and grab this color this lightest color there it is and it's you could use this on your brow bone. I find that really shimmery, sparkly shades on your brow bone, especially in the middle of the day, are a, a bit much. So anyway, um, I'm just patting that on the tear duct, and I'm taking the tip of the brush and dipping it in. I'm running it a little bit underneath. Now don't forget, at the end, we blend everything, so don't be overly concerned with the fact that it's not looking so good right now. It will. Somebody, not somebody, Kay, the Tooth Fairy, Tooth Fairy 20, asked me about brulee. Um, she has the, I think it's, what did you show me, the purple palette? And she was wondering if that lightest color is um, brulee. It is not. But if you have the vanity palette, the browns and golds, uh, this is off topic, um, that lightest shade in the top left corner is brulee. So if you have vanity, you already own brulee and you don't have to go out and get another one unless you really want to. Okay, now I'm just picking any one of my crease colors, crease colors, crease brushes. Always a good idea to make sure they're clean. Um, this one isn't. So bear with me a moment while I rub it all over my paper towel. Okay, so now I'm going in with this um, 
this shade. So we've used two shades already. And I have a plan to use a fourth. So we're going to go in and use kind of a light hand. I mean, it depends what you're doing today. I am, it's Friday, and the plan is to go to Walmart. Wish me luck. So, anyway, as you know, I like this thing. You tilt your head back a little so you can see the shadow where your crease is. Kind of start in the outer third. I guess it would be nice if I was facing you. Do circles. I mean, all of my looks, for the most part, are pretty similar. It's not all that exciting. It's just... Once you get the general technique down of like a mid-tone shade here, darker shade here, lighter shade on top, you can do anything. Really. So I'm going to get a little more of that. I can never get it to look right on this corner. So annoying. And then I try to keep my eye open because, like I said, if I only do it in the crease, when I open my eye, the tip of my brush disappears. You wouldn't see it. So I go always, for me, I go over the, above the crease a little bit. This is going to vary depending on your eye shape. So do the same to the other side. Can you hear him scratching? That's Bosley. I mean, really. How many times is the word no going to be said until he gets it? Bosley, go lay down. It's time for your morning nap. So, I'm just going to make sure I have the color even on both sides. Hey. Also, as a side note while I sit here and do this, um, if you don't know anything about Weimaraners, that's what Bosley is, um, they are OCD. Like, ridiculously obsessive compulsive. So once they fixate as a breed, once they fixate on something, they don't quit till they get their way. So he's going to keep at this for a while. Okay, so I want to run it under my eyes as well. So I'm just looking. I have this uh, Trish McAvoy. It's flat, but I like it because it's thin. And I'm just going to dip it in that um, this crease color here and get underneath my eyelashes. They're kind of in the way. And just run it under my eye and make sure it connects with the outer crease line. And same with the other eye. And this is a good time to blend. So making sure your crease brush, your blendy brush is clean. I think it's time to clean my brushes. I hate cleaning my brushes. It takes forever. Okay. I'm just going to hang on it. I'm going to answer, but I want to let Bosley howl. Hang on. Is that her? Let's see if I can zoom in on him. Some of you, a lot of you guys like watching Bosley. Every time I try to get him his own video, like film him doing crazy stuff, he stops. So um, I'm just going to have to splice it into my regular videos. So I'm going back and forth. There's no color on my brush. I'm just blending everything, really. Especially this top. This is the part where... I guess I didn't answer the phone, did I? Now my cell phone's ringing. And he's going to start. <laughs> okay, boss. Okay. So once you've blended it all out, um, I don't like that sparkly highlight color. So I'm going to use brulee. Um, and I'm going to use the same blending brush I've been using. And uh, just blend out the top. You can bring it down. I also like to kind of go along this outer edge that just cleans it up. I don't know if that's coming up on camera at all, but... And if you're noticing that I'm babbling more than usual, it's because I don't have a time limit anymore. And I... As of last night, yesterday afternoon. So I kind of want to try it out. I promise I won't babble endlessly throughout future videos, but... 
just indulge me this once. Okay, so that's it without the eyeliner. What did I do with my eyeliner? Here it is. Okay, so you can use any color eyeliner. I'm partial to black. Uh, today I'm using my Urban Decay 24-7 in zero. Um, my preference is actually the Prestige one, but the annoying thing is that it doesn't sharpen well, so you can never get it as sharp as a point as it was when you first start using it. So if anyone can recommend a sharpener that works for Prestige, specifically Prestige eyeliners, I would love to hear it. Um, so I'm just drawing this on. Nothing special. I'm not winging it out. Well, maybe a little. I guess I did. It's, it's habit now. Okay, he's so distressed. Between wanting to go O-U-T and the phone, he's just crazed. That's crazed, Bosley. Can you see? You can't see him. Bosley, your life is so hard. <laughs> okay. And... Generally, like I said, it helps to do your eyeliner with your eyes open. But I didn't do that today, did I? Okay, so that's it. And then if you want to jazz it up a little bit, and what the heck, it's Friday. Let's go for it. I have this really, really tiny little Trish McAvoy brush. When I say tiny, it's like teeny tiny. I bought these brushes when I was in graduate school before I had a thing like a budget where I thought, oh, I might need to use my money to feed myself. So um, when I started buying makeup brushes, I went to Nordstrom and bought Trish McAvoy brushes. Yeah. Anyway, they're great. I mean, these are super old. I was, I don't know, 21 when I started grad school. I'm 37, so yeah, they're old. Anyway, I think what I'm going to do, because I feel guilty that I'm not using this color, is I'm just going to take a little bit on the tip of this tiny little brush. Any tiny little brush will do. And I'm just going over that line I drew. I don't even know if there's going to be any color, really. But just a little bit. And boy, am I going to... Oh, sorry, I'm sitting... <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, I'm a little loopy. The coffee hasn't, I think, kicked in yet. Okay. And um, just because I'm going to also do just a smidgen in the outer corner there on the bottom. Okay. So that's the eye look. Um, I forgot to bring my eyelash curler out here, which is why I prefer doing tutorials in my bathroom because all my stuff is there. But I'm going to put on my CoverGirl Lash Blast. I go back and forth between this and the Lash Blast Fusion, and to be honest, I think I like Lash Blast Fusion, which is the purple one, a little bit better. But it's drying up, so... I think I learned my lesson yesterday and I will not talk while I put on mascara. It's just, you know. Get the bottom. And I still got some on my contact. Like, really? It shouldn't be that hard to put on mascara. Okay. Other eye. I know this is like watching paint dry, but I guess you don't have to curl your eyelashes. I mean, unless you have super flat, straight ones. Um, it definitely looks better, but not a necessary thing. Okay, so. So, let me zoom out. No. Scratching again. So, that is my take on using the Wet n Wild. That's a little better. Wet n Wild Night Elf Holiday Palette. I will say what's great about this is um, 
it's very neutral even though it's sparkly a little or shimmery it's not sparkly and so um it's it can be worn with any i mean i haven't figured out what i'm wearing today and this will go with anything i put on um yeah you can make it as intense as you want obviously i could have um darkened up that outer corner with the black and that would have really made it pretty intense but seeing as I'm already kind of glammed out for Walmart I think this is as far as I need to go today um, I'm sure there was something else I wanted to tell you guys about this oh I have heard that this color here this brownie this one is a dupe for Mac Club seeing as how I do not own or have never laid eyes on Mac Club I couldn't tell you that for sure but um, if that's something you want to look into, um, Google Images is a great resource for figuring out swatches and colors and things like that. So um, give that a shot. I, I actually, I think there's a couple of dupes in here. This is certainly a good dupe for Black Tide. Um, and I'm not really a MAC connoisseur, so I couldn't tell you about the other ones. But um, if you Google uh, MAC dupes for Wet n Wild, I'm sure that that's going to pop up. So anyway, um, that's my look for today. I should probably finish getting dressed and get my errands done and take my dog out. So I hope you have a wonderful Friday. And um, I'm sure I'll talk to you all before the end of the weekend. So have a great one and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.